Well, good afternoon, Wolf Shropshire. It's a beautiful looking day. There's just one problem. And that is the wind is picking up. It's getting very gusty. But overall, it's a, a very nice day. I've spent the gust again. That'll give you some idea of how gusty it is. <coughs> hmm. Right, well, I've spent the day clearing. Compost heap I'd forgotten about. When I moved the chickens from this area here, um, they had a, a polytunnel there with their house in, and that was used as a winter run. And this area here was used as an outdoor run. But in this corner, I piled up everything I'd taken from this area and piled it all into this area along here. And it's been there for 18 months or more. So I've now dug it all out, sifted it, and I've got, uh, let me see, four, eight, yes, eight bags of compost. So that's uh, saved me a lot of money, as well as these two old tumble dryer casings which I picked up two years ago and never done anything with I'm turning into compost bins so what wouldn't go through the sieve has gone in the bases to cause a to make a base and uh, I'll make a couple of compost heaps there this the turner is turning quite well it is beginning to compost down in there You've just got to keep turning it every day. So all in all, it's looking not bad. All this I've got to take to the tip, all this old wood and a couple of bits and pieces. It's got to go down to the uh, recycling centre in Shrewsbury, which um, I must be doing Monday or Tuesday. On the potatoes, I had a load of this green um, covering from the old polytunnel, which was there uh, covering the chickens to keep them dry in the winter. So I've cut it and put it over the potatoes because it's it, the potatoes are fine. I've checked the potatoes, but I don't want them to start rotting, and it's getting very wet. A 10 square foot gardening bed, petrol spinach, beetroot, spring onions, radishes, American cress, and leeks. I've got the uh, sprouting peas out here at the moment, give them some rain, and the carrots and spring onions are coming on there. And the radishes are looking good. There's some more carrots uh, sown in there. Um, in that one is beetroot bolt hardy. The same in there. The parsnips are looking really good. And look at all this lot. All these parsnips are coming on nicely. And uh, yeah, the uh, Jackdaws have left the strawberries alone here. They've not tried to pull them out. So, and the peas here are looking good. So let's go in and uh, do some bits indoors. Right, so we're back indoors now. And it's uh, getting very windy. It's a beautiful day out there. 
um, lovely and sunny, but getting very windy. It looks a bit dark in here for some reason, I'm not quite sure why. Let's bring it around a bit. It's only better, that might be better. Right, let's have a look. Now I'm going to sow some more seeds. I've got a whole host of seeds here. Uh, this is this month's. And as you can see, there's plenty of them. But what am I going to be sowing? Well, uh, beetroot. I've got beetroot out there. These will go in later on this month. Cauliflower. I might do some more at the end of the month. Carrots. That'll be later on this month outside. Now, sweet corn. There we go, sweet corn. This is sweet corn robust. It's a popping sweet corn, so not the the, uh, the kernels of barbecue. This is the ones that made the popcorn. Looking forward to doing these. So, these are simply seeds. Uh, sweet corn robust popping. Should be about 40 seeds, April to June, so. Germ, uh, germination temperature 18 centigrade, sowing depth 3 centimetres. Covered lightly with compost, should germinate in 7 days, and obviously not frost hardy. Uh, plant spacing 40 centimetres, that's quite a bit. That's about um, that's about what, 1 foot 4? Row spacing 50 centimetres. Goodness me, that's about one foot nine. Um, okay, okay, so 2026. 20, well, should we give these a go? Now, yeah. open them up and we'll have a look and see what, uh, what we've got. Hmm. Nice looking seeds. Um, so yeah, so let's uh, get this sorted out and we'll start to get some of them planted up. So let's see. Right, now, they've got fairly deep roots, so and they'll be staying in for quite some time. So I'm going to bring you down, bring you forward, and we'll see what we can do now. That's it. And if I stand at the side here, you can see what I'm doing. So I'm going to use these uh, larger pots here. Put some compost in. Lightly tamp it down. And yes, there's a lot of seeds here. So I'm going to put two in each pot. But on the other end, if I divide them, I could start off with four in each pot. Now you'll literally notice these are the pots which I got these strawberries in. Two, three. What are you doing, Bo? Bo's wasting around because he knows he's getting towards his tea time. And uh, he knows it's close, but not yet. It's only 20 to 4. You get your tea at 5 o'clock. So you've got some waiting time yet, Bo. Bo's a creature of habit. He knows exactly when it's five when it's um, five o'clock. And if I haven't fed him by five o'clock, he's pacing around and really, really let me know that I'm late. But he also tries it on from four o'clock onwards. He'll try to make me uh, think it's later. He doesn't know that I've got a clock Dogs don't understand clocks. 
or they understand their time clocks inside their brains. And that's, at the end of the day, is really what matters. Two, three, and four. So I planted them around the pot, four, four seeds. So I'm going to get on with these, get these sown, and then I'll come back to you. Right, so that's all the sweet corn now sowed. <coughs> There's what, so four, eight, twelve, thirteen. Now, I know some people like to soak their sweet corn. I never have, and it's always come up okay. Um, a couple of the nurseries, which I know, um, they don't uh, soak their sweet corn. It would take too much time. They just plant straight in and keep it well watered. So all that will get well watered. Um, and... Uh, that should be okay given the temperature. So now I've got a load more seed tray uh, pots here. If you remember, I, if you've watched my previous uh, vlogs, you'll see that I tried the cocoa um, coir pots and found that um, they just didn't work for me. The nearly everything that was sown in me. Uh, cocoa coir pots basically didn't do well or died off. They got too wet, they held too much water. Also, they seemed to restrict the roots. So re the roots of the seedlings were having a trouble getting through them um, and it stunted the seedlings and I said I wouldn't use them again. Just a side note on uh, cocoa, if we're using cocoa coir of any sort and you've got pets, do be bear this in mind that cocoa coir, and it is only cocoa from what I can read up, coconut seems to be fine, but the cocoa coir um, can be poisonous to dogs. They would have to ingest quite a lot, obviously, to kill them, but if they chew it up, or whatever it can make them sick so just bear that in mind that's cocoa coir not coconut coir um, coconut coir apparently seems to be okay so the next thing I'm going to sow is let's have a look I've got some more masculine mix so that'll go outside um, more of ab 60 day don't need them at the moment uh, let's see what else have we got Right, let's go for that's red rubble cow that goes outside. Um, so much choice. Cabbage Golden Acre. Hmm, might do some of them end of the month. So that lot there is either for the end of the month or for, well, the middle of the month or for ne the end of this month. So, what have we got? So, now, as I just said, the Cocoa Coir pots have not done well. So, I'm now using um, small plastic pots. Now these are nice and strong, so these will last me a few years. Um, so I'm quite happy with that, and they were very cheap as well. They weren't expensive. So I'm going to sow, now oh, here we go, pumpkin. Now these, I have to mind my French again, Rouge Vis, Vif de Attempts. I'll put that there for you, if you know French better than me. And there you go. So, yeah. 
I don't know how many seeds there are in here, but we'll find out. Uh, five seeds, so you don't get many. And these are okay till December 26. So let's have a look. What have we got? Uh, Cinderella's pumpkin. Hmm, excellent, excellent culinary variety. Flattened ridged pumpkin with sweet, solid flesh. Excellent source of vitamin A, and we all need a bit, bit, a bit of vitamin A, don't we? So, five seeds. Okay, that's a bit of a variety of sizes, isn't it? So, now remember, same as broad beans, any seed which is flat like this, always make sure you sow on its side so the water can fall off. If you were to sow the seed like that, the water will lay on top of the seed, rot the seed. So remember, always on its side, like so, so the water runs off. So let's sow do five of these. Now I'm going to put these down. Let me see how far do these, is it say, reckon here? It reckons half an inch deep. Yeah, it's about what I would do now. I think this is going to be more like four seeds, to be honest. The reason being, this one is only half a seed. So I'm going to put it in with this small seed and see how it goes. So they're in half an inch. A bit of uh, this beautiful soil over the top. Now, if I was growing, if I was sowing small seed, I would use a new compost. As I'm sowing these big seeds, so therefore there's no problem, you know, the sweet corn is big, easily to see. These pumpkins are nice and big, you can, you can uh, tell with these pumpkins. I'm using the soil which came from the uh, pile which I've been clearing for the last couple of days and finished uh, today. I was going to film it, but it kept sporadically um, raining for three or four minutes at a time and I don't want the uh, camera to get wet. This is some really beautiful, fine soil, as you can see. Oops, you can't see because I'm in my way. There you go. And uh, absolutely gorgeous. And if I squeeze it, it just breaks apart again. No problem at all. So, now... That seeds five done. Let's pop in that see uh, pumpkins. Now I must remember to mark these up, otherwise I'll be in trouble. So let me mark these up as pumpkin. I'm only doing one type of pumpkin, so it uh, isn't a problem. I don't have to mark up the variety as well. So I'm just going to write on the label pumpkin. Stick the label in like so, and there you go. So, sweet corn there, and then pumpkin here. Right, what am I going to do next? Well, let's have a look and see what we've got. Well, we have put the packet there. I could do some more cucumbers. Um, there again, the cucumbers I did so was in um, coconut coirs, and the ones that have survived are not the best. So I think we'll do some. I think we'll do the courgettes first. Um, I do love courgettes, and I don't mind if they grow big. If they grow big, they basically became, become a marrow. Um, and I do like stuffed marrow. Mm. 
a meal in one. So let's have a look. We have approximately 10 seeds, and uh, this is F1 Sure Thing. April to early July. I wouldn't plant later than April to be honest. Need to get them going. Um, germination temperature 18C, sowing depth 2.5 centimeter, uh, cover lightly with um, compost, germinate five to seven days, and obviously not frost hardy. Row spacing three feet, plant spacing three feet. Well, I've grown these year after year, and to be honest, I've, I've always grown them roughly two feet apart. When I was at the allotment, I had three foot square bays, and uh, I just put basically um, two foot between each, so I had four in there, and beautiful courgettes. So I'm going to plant these now. This is the seeds. There again, remember, flat side to the side and the edges pointing down. So let's aim you down to the pots and I'm going to put one in each of the pots. So this doesn't take long to do these. Um, before these come up, I'm going to have so many courgettes I'll be giving them away. I don't mind giving them away. Um, people should should give spare plants away. It's uh, it's good. I'm going to have to get another planting tray in as well because I'm going to run out. All I do now is get some soil, cover with soil. Just tamp it down with the hand. I don't tamp them down heavy, just lightly with the fingers. There's no need to be heavy with them. And all these will get a good watering, they'll get watered from the base. Water will go in the tray. Now those I'm going to have to put into a separate container. So I'm going to leave those here for the moment. I'm going to transfer these to this side so I know what uh, they are. Now these are courgettes. There again, um, courgette F1. Courgette F1 sure thing and just stick some labels in. There we go. And that's them labelled up. Right, I'm going to go and get another tray um, to go and put these in. I'll get another top because I'm going to use the. I'm going to put the uh, propagator tops on them so that it keeps the moisture in the pots. So I'll be back in a moment. Right, so that's another tray in, and that's now got uh, 12 courgette seeds in. So let's have a look and see what else we've got. We've got uh, three different types of cucumber, which I will be sowing. Um, these are Honey Plus, the Mini Munch, and the Chinese Slangen. Now, I sowed all these earlier, um, last month, or the month before, I can't remember which, um, but they didn't survive those um, cocoa pots, cocoa coir pots, 
So these are going to go into uh, plastic pots. I'm not using modules for these because these are too big. Um, so I'm using pots for all these big seeds. I've also got some more celery and I've got some uh, chive. But these are going to modules, so that won't be today. I'm going to get some of these cucumbers done. Now let's have a look. Well, oh, that's the first two propagators now full. I don't put a lot of water into them. The soil is damp, it's not wet, it's damp. It's under uh, some conifers. So I use one of these small watering cans. One of these into each of the two propagators. Um, I'll let that soak up and then I'll check how done they are tomorrow. Um, if they need a bit more water I'll give them another one but I won't normally do that until the day after tomorrow. Um, and if they don't need the water I won't give them the water then. The vents on the top I close and uh, rather than leave them open I tend to close them, that locks them all, all that moisture into the propagator and uh, that should be enough water to get them started. I don't want to over water them because if you over water them you're going to rot the uh, seeds. So, right, I'm going to get on and plant some more um, cucumber and uh, I think for today, I'm going to call it a day because my back is um, hurting. Uh, and I don't think I can sort of do much more today. I've been doing that uh, big earth pile of compost matter and, and uh, earth and soil out there, which has produced, as I've said, produced this lovely pile of earth here at the MS. So and now doing these. So I think I've done enough for today. I'll catch you tomorrow.